up, YouTube? Blink and Jago Fan 53 here, and today I'm coming at you guys with a quick little theory. I know it's Monday, but I just felt like uploading this today because tomorrow I will be uploading my Raid Zeppelin review. Um, I just got it the other day, and I built it today, and I was super pumped. Um, and a quick apology because in the video tomorrow I said uh, I mentioned something about the time lapse. I was supposed to put that up today. And when I went to do it, uh, like, everything went wrong with it. It was just freezing everywhere. And um, I even previewed it. I post posted it on YouTube for, like, a quick second. And I just deleted it because um, it was very still. Like, it w it was look it, it was just basically a picture. And when I would fast forward, it would just turn to another picture. So, um, just sorry, quick sorry in advance about that. Um, but, yeah, so tomorrow I'll be having just the review. And today I just wanted to come at you guys with a little theory. So, the theory today is that Clancy is not actually a serpentine. He was once a human. So, um, I was watching some of the old Ninjago episodes yesterday, and I watched the one where Jay's parents get turned into snakes. Yes, I have watched them before, just to let you guys know. So, uh, for those of you who are like, oh, you haven't watched them before? Well, then you're not a true Ninjago fan. Yes, I have. I just decided to go back and rewatch them, uh, because the serpentine were one of my favorite waves. And uh, I just kind of wanted to watch it again. And uh, Snake Bit episode 3 is the one where Jay's parents go to visit him. And uh, the Fang Pyre bite them and everything. Um, so I was watching that and I saw when Jay's parents started to turn like fully into snakes almost. Um, their skin started to turn like a lime light green almost like Clancy's. And uh, that gave me the idea that Clancy actually is not a serpentine. He was once a human pirate. Um, so there are a few reasons that make me think that. So I can't remember what episode it's in, but um, Clancy states that he, oh no, he was telling Jay that he never really fit in with the other Serpentine, and uh, that's why he decided to become a pirate. Maybe that was because long before he was a pirate, he was once a human and was bitten by a fang pirate and turned into a, a snake. That's why he never really fit in, because he was never in a tribe. And some of you are going to say, well, he's obviously Venomari because he's green. Well, so were Jay's parents when um, they turned green. So they turned green when they were almost becoming snakes uh, before Nia gave them the anti-venom from the staff. But um, so that made me think like, wow, that he could have been that. Um, another reason is the fact that these right here, if he was wearing or if he was like a full snake, he would have like the scales on this side and not like the peg leg, of course, but uh, he would have like his scales coming from here down to here. And uh, those are pants. And I've never really seen a serpentine wear clothes before. Uh, scales doesn't. Scales Jr. does because he's a little kid, but Clancy is not. And um, none of the other snakes do. None of the Venomari do. Um, even in uh, Rebooted, there was only one character who did, and that was Scales Jr. But, um, why, why would, like, a snake need to wear pants? Because they're snakes. So, my guess is that he's a part, or he was a human, and he wears, he wore clothes, so I guess he still does. I know that's not really convincing, but, um, yeah, but I think the main thing is the fact that he said that he doesn't fit in with the Serpentine. And like I said, it's not because he's any tribe. He was once a human, and the snakes never really liked humans because they've been around as long as Misfortune's Keep has been during the Stone Wars. They created where Nin when Ninjago was, so they've been around. Uh, the Fang Pirate could have bitten him at any time, but the, f the, like, the key fact is that he doesn't fit in with them because uh, they despise humans. They've told them that many times to the ninja during Rebooted. They said when they went to the Stone Army camp, they said, we don't deal with surface dwellers anymore. Uh, they stated that the whole entire first season as well. So that's like really convincing evidence right there because they thought they knew he was once a human and basically made him an outcast. So he thought, I don't fit in with the other Serpentine. Why just become something else? So he became a pirate. Um, yeah, so that is my quick little theory on Clancy is a human. Uh, tomorrow I'll be uploading my Raid Zeppelin review with Clancy, Dabloon, Zane, and all those cool guys. And then, um, as well, I'll be posting a review of the characters and sets for Season 7, which I'm super pumped about. Um, I think that'll be released on Thursday or something. And, um, who knows, maybe I'll have a collaboration with someone. Hint, hint. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and definitely subscribe. We're almost to 100 subscribers. And uh, once I reach 100, I'll be doing another contest giveaway. So I'm super pumped for that. So uh, maybe on Thursday I'll be posting a video about that. So yeah, uh, I'll see you guys all in my next video. Thank you. Goodbye.